a special one-off occasion to bring you coverage of tonight. It's the final of the Europa League. It is Chelsea up against Napoli. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams had the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. Number seven, Engolo Kante. Number five, Jorginho. Number 17, Mateo Kovacic. Number 11, Pedro. Number 10, Eden Hazard. And number 22. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Marcos Alonso plays with Aspiliqueta in the wide defensive positions. And lining up as the lone striker is Eden Hazard. Here's the team for Napoli. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Thank you. Enjoy the game. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. Hazard, Jorginho, Aspiliqueta, Jorginho, here's Kovacic. The ball with David Luiz, Mateo Kovacic, and cleared away. Conte. Kovacic. Conte trying his luck from long. Oh, that is a goal from long range. He won't soon forget. Absolutely right out of the top drawer. Let's have a look at this replay. Caught the keeper on his heels, and this is why. Short back lift, great strike, takes everybody by surprise. A chance to revisit the goal. restarted and Chelsea Engolo are the team Chelsea. with the lead number seven Engolo Kante Azar on the ball Mateo Kovacic he's likely asking himself why did I shoot from so far out well he's not the only one I'm asking him and all his teammates are too Alan. Here's Insigne. Marek Hamšík. Zielinski. Delivered by Callejon. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. And a bit more analysis as regards the goal.
So a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Number 24. Jorginho. William. Here's Kovacic. Hazard. Chelsea getting the ball forward. What can they do from this position? Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Jorginho. Now William. And dispossessed. Callejon. Napoli have lost the ball. Aidan Azar. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Pedro. And in by Pedro. Well, it makes a pretty picture for those photographers behind the goal. But I'm not sure he was ever going to score with that bicycle kick. Well, overhead kick looks good. Not really the option, though. Jorginho Zielinski Hamšík now and now Zielinski the emphasis is on passing the ball forward now what can they do from here it might be the moment to get them ahead absolutely magnificent goalkeeping oh he's almost turning away he thinks he scored the goalkeeper doesn't and this time Well, here's the replay. The keeper's made a save, but it's not good enough. It's back into play. He was first to react, and it's in the back of the net. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Having conceded then, it's up to Chelsea to articulate a response. William. Pedro. And it's with Pedro. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. On the ball, Aspiliqueta. Aidan Azar. Oh, they've done it! A goal for Chelsea who got themselves on level terms. Well, here we see a better angle on it. There's nothing the keeper can do. A significant deflection, and he's beaten. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Raul Albiol here. Kaya Horn here. On the ball, Aspiliqueta. Azar. Kaya Horn here. And showing fine vision. Conte now, Mateo Kovacic, Azar on the ball, Jorginho, well he's opened up the defence here, ball lost by Chelsea, and the defender takes care of business, Pedro, N'Golo Conte, Kovacic, can he make this move count? Jorginho. Now here's Aiden Azar. And is he going to do it? Kovacic. And a goal!
Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. And the goal that was scored, well worth another look, Lee. scoreline doesn't favour Napoli and let's find out about their attack now it's with Raul Albiol Mertens half time and from the neutral point of view a cracking first half in this UEFA Europa League final league well from everybody's point of view it's been an absolutely brilliant game I've enjoyed every single second of it we've had incident we've had tactics we've had all sorts confrontation bring it on The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Conte now. Here's Kovacic. Jorginho. Can they hit on the break? Mateo Kovacic. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Jorginho. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Wow, he's simply the difference between these two sides. All the eyes will be on him for this second half. Can he get the hat-trick? Well, that is how to run at defenders. To the middle from Lorenzo Insigne. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Azar. Well, the counter chance looks very real. This is Aspidi Quetta. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Mertens. Here's Insigne. Not quite the counter attack that they had in mind. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Aimed in the direction of Mertens. Not fun. An opportunity with the header, but not troubling the goalkeeper at all, Lee. Well, I say one thing. Technique, and he didn't have any. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Aidan Azar on the ball as Quetta. this is Pedro Azar on the ball keeping possession of the ball with authority and it's with Pedro and he takes on the shot it's with Hamsik it's with Alan Hamshik now. Kaya Horn here. Kaya Horn now. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Giving it to the opposition, William Milik. Mateo Kovacic. The ball with Marcos Alonso. Conte. This is Aspini Quetta. Marcos Alonso. Jorginho. On the ball, Rudiger. This is Aspini Quetta. Here's Pedro. Made an Azar. Azar! Keeper did his job to begin with. He's given us away. Kovacic. Oh, he fancies his chances. Conte. It is now with Jorginho. And a strong tackle. Zielinski. 
Mario Rui. And now Zielinski. It's with Milik. Mertens. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Carrying a genuine threat here. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Very good use of advantage there by the official, letting the play carry on and then only subsequently handing out the yellow card. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what the fans want. They want to see the game going on. They don't want to see it stopped or something like that. You can always go back and book the player later. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Let's give a round of applause for today's man of the match. Number 10, Eden Hazard. And only two minutes remaining here. Conte now. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. He's in behind the defence here. Well, he's setting the table for his team. Milik! Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. He's driven in the corner. Oh, a truly magnificent piece of goalkeeping there. Well, it is his job, Derek. Keep the ball. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. And my goodness, Lee, they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. They were running the clock down at the end. The referee obliged and blew his whistle. Quite rightly so. They're now on the halfway line celebrating with all their teammates I'm pretty sure all the subs etc will come running on as well a great great night for this football club it's a party to last throughout the year I should think We're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League and now the trophy awaits them well all those months of hard training sessions pre-season training you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions and they'll be looking forward at moments like this. And they've finally got their hands on this fantastic, magnificent trophy. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Long celebrations into the night. I'm pretty sure, Derek, it's going to go on and on. Yeah, I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left, why not? Yes. And now they get to enjoy the moment with the fans who have made the journey here for the final. Well, it's their trophy as well, and they play a huge part in a club season, not only domestically, but in competitions abroad. They travel far and wide to watch this team, and they're celebrating and sharing this moment. Absolutely fantastic. Pictures now to be captured for eternity. What's an experience, Lee? It is, yeah. Get yourself on the front row. That's what my mum always said. <laughs> You're in the photographs right next to that trophy. The Europa League winners.